What's up, everyone? It's TV, and we are back in Slap Battles for a brand new Slap Battles badge glove. It is the Alchemist glove. This is what it looks like right here. And apparently, you can make lots and lots of potions with it. I don't have it yet, but I know how to get it. Alchemist glove, I have not showcased yet, obviously, because I don't have it, but we're going to get it right now. And yes, you could do this on a VIP server. So we're going to head over here. I've got a VIP server or private server. I've got an alt. So this is one of my alts right here called blue-eyed zombie and then my i'm just kidding it's not at all ah it's not at all i've actually i can control two computers very easily yeah 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 yeah, yeah. get out of here stupid alt <laughs> all right but i do have an alt on the server just to help things along and then i'm gonna load the server up right now you do need to have the plague badge glove and in order to be able to get this badge you do need to get slapped by plague thank you zombie for this good information because i totally forgot how i got it it's real simple you just need to get you know infected by someone else we need to infect everyone on the server so we need a full server how this is gonna work is i'm going to infect everyone here they're gonna run away so i don't uh like accidentally hit them more than once so this is that boom All right, all right, I got it. So it's not just about infecting them. You have to kill them all. So I don't think it's in sync. I don't think it's a sequence. You got it. I think you just have to like kill that many players. So you don't have to do them all at once. All right. Yeah, I think you just have to kill 10 people with plague without dying. All right, I think you just have to kill them. So you have to kill them with infection. If this works, if you get to the badge, you don't have to do a full server. It might, it might be 10 different people, but I think you have to have like more at once. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah I think he, he doesn't have to, it's just unique players. Yeah, so that's even easier. So some people were saying it's like 13 kills. You know, it's just 10 unique kills. You don't have to do them all at the same time. So that's so much easier. You could also do this on a private server. So all you need really are 11 players on a server. Oh, this is a really easy badge, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, this is actually a really easy glove. Um, next up, I got to show you the alchemist, though. We got to figure out like these ingredients for potions. Zombies over there, like trying to pick stuff up. He's trying to experiment already. All right. So we helped the entire server get it that quick, dude. Wow, we actually got like 15 people plus the badge. So I'm going to switch over to Alchemist. Uh, actually, I was already Alchemist. But the problem with this server is it is bugs. So we're going to have to go over to a fresh server and try to gather some ingredients because ingredients are no longer spawning on the server. So hopefully the devs will fix that bug, but it's kind of bugged right now. All right, so we got the badge and the glove, as I mentioned earlier. We also got all 15 of those players that helped me out on my server. We got them the badge too. So uh, let's go and equip this. This is what the glove looks like. It looks like it's got a cauldron like with goo over for doing. All right, so let's go and click this. You have to unequip your um, glove to pick stuff up. So then you click that and we're just going to gather a bunch of ingredients around. Wow, there's a lot of ingredients here. There's so many. Oh, yeah. And so if you want to be able to drop your cauldron, by the way. Uh, wow, there's so much stuff here. Um, I think I'm busier servers. I mean, ours was definitely bugged, but uh, we can go ahead and like drop our cauldron here. And there's all these different ingredients, right? So let me pick up some more of these. Wow, there's so many ingredients. What's that? Like a glowing mushroom? Holy cow, how many are there? There are so many. I already have like one, two, three, four. I have eight. I got 12 right now in here. All right, we have 12, 13 so far. I'm just gathering. And if you die, it sounds like you're gonna lose all your ingredients, Um, which I don't like. I don't like that idea. I think you also lose your cauldron, so don't lose your cauldron. So I'm going to come over here and see what we can make. So how it works is you go up to your cauldron, and you just want to click on this. And then click on the cauldron afterwards. There's blue. Dark root. Dire flower. Can't add that. I think you... What's it? Oh, jeez. That's getting really orange. Oh, dude. Yeah, it, it, you got to be careful with this thing, man. I blew it up. All right, so it's blue. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I got a bunch of ingredients that I collected around here. We, you can see we got autumn sprouts, crystals, roots, flowers, wood. Got all kinds of stuff. So here's the glowing mushroom thing. And so let's go ahead and click on that. Looks like it doesn't want to go in. Yeah, it doesn't want it doesn't want to take the mushroom for some reason. Let's do it. Let's do a plain flower instead. Yeah, that worked. All right, so how you can see if you could activate it, just click on the um, spoon here. And if it's bad, then you blow up. See, lamp glass, and then red crystal, and then we're going to put dark root in it. Dude, everything's blowing up. Everything's blowing up, man. 
Give us some ingredients, man. So there's 16 unique potions that can be created from combinations. Um, here's my thought. All right, so let's go and let's go and put a cauldron down here. I think if you do like a crystal, I could be wrong. Mix a crystal with some kind of like flour. Um, you can get some kind of results. Let's try it. Yeah, we definitely got a result, <laughs> but it was an explosion, dude. All right, elderwood with uh, plain flour. Yeah, we're doing something wrong, man. You have to do a certain number. Like, we need some hints here. Okay, so I think it, it, you have to get a certain brightness. Okay, so let's go crystal blue. We're going to do dire flowers. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's... Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, if we put jade stone in here, here it looks like it just turns it to green. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, so I'm, I think we're gonna have to split this up with two parts. All I keep doing is blowing up, everyone. That's, that's all I keep doing. I just keep blowing up, man. Like, imagine you're trying to, like, you know, grind, and you're like, I want to kill some players. So you go over here, and you're like, <laughs> I've got my my brew. Yes, maybe we'll put that in here, and. We got purple now and go click on that and boom. And then you just keep blowing yourself up over and over and over. You're pretty much like doing the enemy's job, you know? So I don't think I really want to keep doing this. Uh, I don't know if this is a very good, uh, you know, kind of glove, but, and I don't, you know, regular mushrooms don't seem to do a thing. You can't put them in here, but they're cool to hold on to, I guess. But yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of weird, man. I don't I don't know what to think of this glove. So far, I'm not liking it. But maybe someone's got some tips in the comments below. So after you get this glove, what I'm asking you right now, share your ingredients below. I'm gonna try to figure out all 16 potions, and I'll do a follow-up video. We definitely need to do some research on this. It's gonna take a while, but we need to do some research on the different ingredients for all the different potions because that's kind of fun. I mean, honestly, imagine if you had all 16 ingredients and some of them are really OP. I want to know. I want to know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck with getting the glove. Like I said, you just need to do like, I think it was like 10 unique kills with the, you know, plague. And they don't all have to be at the same time. So that should help you a lot. Also, private servers are allowed. So you can use private server. But for now, this glove is kind of useless until I figure out how to actually do potions. Zombies over there just blowing himself up over and over. Failing miserably just like me. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe you need to have like a glass. Lamp glass. No, maybe you have, I don't know. I don't know crystals roots like i got all this stuff but i don't know what to do with it all right as i was editing this video a lot of people have actually figured this out okay so a lot of people figured out some potions i'm just gonna list some examples here first we need to go around here and just kind of get a bunch of ingredients so we have some variety here but yeah there's some uh potions that can be used i think part of the problem with this mushroom i'm, st I'm just guessing right now but if you don't have the right ingredients with it, it can't work. I'm not 100% about that, but I kind of think that might be why I've been having so many issues. But let's go ahead and grab a few more of these and let's put down our cauldron. All right, so first one we're gonna do is we need a glowing mushroom and one regular mushroom. Do we have such thing? Yeah, we do. All right, let's go pick this up real quick and let's go back to our cauldron. So we're gonna need to place a glowing mushroom in here. And some, for some reason that works now. And then we need a regular mushroom here. And doing that will give us a Grug potion. Dude, that's cool. So what does a Grug potion do? <laughs> what? Oh no, dude. Well, that's annoying. All right. All right. To do a uh, invisibility potion, we do two hazel uh, lilies and one blue crystal. Let's grab one of those. And then we need, uh, did we put two of those in there? I don't know if I put two hazels. Yeah, there we go. And then we need a blue crystal. Boom. All right, let's try it. All right. Yeah, we got the invisibility potion. Oh, wait. I think you make other people invisible with that one. That's, that one's kind of cool, though. All right, and then uh, Explosion Potion. It's going to be one red crystal. So we got a red crystal already. Boom. Put that in. And then we're going to put um, two fire flowers. Do we have fire flowers? Yeah, we do. So let's put two of those in. Boom. That gave us an explosion. Dude, that actually killed me. Bro, that took all my ingredients away. It's a toxin bar. We're going to have to figure that out a little bit later. Go ahead and drop our cauldron. All right, next up, we're going to try the um, haste potion. You need you need an autumn sprout, and then you need a jade stone. I don't know if we can find a jade stone here. 
So yeah, what you're gonna probably need is like a list of like potions handy. So like while you're playing, oh, there's a jade stone. So while you're playing, you'll be able to like easily make potions. Otherwise, if you just have like your favorite potions, you're probably just gonna have to like have those memorized. All right, I think we have enough for this. Let's go ahead and um, free drop this over here. Let's go ahead and make this um, haste. So it's gonna be a jade, which is this, this jade stone. So just one of these, and then you're gonna put an autumn sprout in. Boom, grab that. We got a haste potion. Drinking that should make, give us like some speed, right? Guessing? I don't know. It doesn't really seem to be very fast. Seems a little slow to me. We'll have to try these out a little bit more. Paralyzing potion is two plain flowers. So let's see. Get a couple of these. Boom. So there's our paralyzing potion. Drink it. We're going to be paralyzed. <laughs> That's messed up, dude. That's troll. Let's troll. Uh, power potion. There's a there's a confusing potion, which is gonna be one red crystal. Uh, we got one wild vine. So we're gonna need to find one of those. I don't think we have one of those. Okay, we got a wild vine. Put that in there. We're gonna need a dire flower. Boom. Now we got this purple thing. We got the power potion. Let's drink it. Yeah, buddy. I'm guessing that just gives you better slap power. So we can't really show that off. We're going to do the confusing potion now, though. It's going to be one red crystal. We're going to do one blue crystal. And like I said, there's so many of these. 16 of these. So this is just the scratching the surface. One glowing mushroom. I don't have any glowing mushrooms. We're going to need to get one right here. This is nice that the range, the reach on this thing's pretty good. So we got glowing. We got a dire flower. I think I put that in already. Let's see. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so that's a confusion potion. So let's go ahead and drink what that. What the dog doing? Oh my. Oh my. Dude, that's awesome. This is probably the best one. The confusion potion is like the best. That's cool. Except it kind of messes you up. And then if you want a nightmare potion, you need three dark roots. Do we have dark roots? Yeah, we do. All right, so let's do three of these. Um, shout out to the Ambitious Gamer 16, by the way. This is all them. I think they've just been consolidating or researching. All right. Oh, nightmare. Oh, no. That's creepy, dude. We're going to need to go over to this. Oh, dude. Ah! Can we get out of this state, please? I'm just going to hide in my cauldron. That was a nightmare. Yeah, so that's the current list. Um, I'm sure there's so many more, so please do share them in the comments below. Till next time, happy grinding. Peace.